Hi, my name is Casey Poplowski. I'm the Director of Advising Services here at Nichols College. I'm one of three professional academic advisors that work with first year students. So I'm sorry we weren't able to meet in person for the accepted student reception, but hopefully everything that I'm able to provide you today um, would have been the same thing that I would have covered with you guys during the reception. I even have my handed in a little note card here um, to make sure that I hit on all the points and make sure that you are well informed. So, just a real quick start, an overview of advising here at Nichols. All first-year students will meet with their professional academic advisor on a regular basis. It's important for us to know who you are so that we can get to know you as individuals, um, not just you as students. So, the more we know about you, the better we can help you. Um, we'll talk about a variety of different things over the course of the first year in terms of what uh, some of your strengths are, what are some areas that we need to work on. We help to um, work with you guys in terms of how to approach your classes, what kind of strategies we want to do, as well as, yes, choosing classes. Transfer students will be working with a transfer advisor during the summer before they begin their college career here at Nichols. Then they'll be reassigned to a faculty advisor in their field so that that will be the person who will work with them in terms of selecting classes, talking about internships, career opportunities, and all of that. So, I'm sure some of you are concerned about how to choose classes for your first year. And I understand that that can be very stressful for a lot of people. Don't worry, we take the stress out for you. You actually don't need to select necessarily what classes you're going to take. Um, we will do that for you. All first year advisors will create a schedule for every first year student. All we need from you is a, a form for you to complete that you'll find on the New Student Hub, and that is the Course Preference Survey. Shouldn't take you more than a couple of minutes to fill it out. We're asking you information like, are you playing a fall or a winter sport? Are you going to be commuting? And if so, how far is your commute? Um, are you going to be, uh, do you have a preference for evening classes, morning classes? Did, are you bringing any credits in, any transfer credits or AP classes? That's the kind of information that we need to know in order to create a schedule for you. You will have an opportunity at one of the orientation sessions to adjust your schedule if you need to. But if you're able to do that course preference survey for us, most of the work is gonna be done ahead of time and we should be able to get you a schedule that will work for you and your needs. Transfer students, you actually don't need to do that course preference survey. Transfer students will do a little bit differently. Once your final official college transcripts have been received and reviewed by the registrar, you will work with a transfer advisor to create your schedule. It will be by appointment. So be on the lookout for information from the registrar once you get your transcripts evaluated. Okay, so what is your next step? What do you need to do next? Well, we aren't going to create a schedule until you've actually deposited. So that's kind of an important piece. Um, once your students are deposited and we've received your course preference survey results, we can get to work on creating a schedule. <laughs> Just so you know, the course preference survey will be available to students mid-April until June 1. So make sure you've got a couple of weeks to get that done, make sure that that happens. Um, the next thing that we need from you is a high school transcript saying you graduated. Now I know you submitted a transcript already as part of the admissions process, but we do need a final one with your final grades that says that you've graduated. Also too, if you ever took any college level courses at another school, it's not enough for those courses to show up on your high school transcript. We need the college transcripts from the course that sponsored that class in order to review them and determine if you're getting credit and if so, how. So please make sure that that those are submitted to us as well. For anyone who ever took an AP class, please make sure that you go onto the College Board website and have Nichols College be a recipient of those scores. Now I know that scores aren't gonna be available until July, so if they come in and we have to make some adjustments to your schedule later, absolutely we will do that, okay? But please make sure that those get sent to us so that you can maximize the number of credits that'll come in for you. Lastly, Again, since we're gonna make a schedule for you, we get the first couple of weeks in June to put that together. And then if you come to an orientation this summer, you will be able to work with your academic advisor to make adjustments as necessary. So make sure that you register for an orientation session and we will be able to take care of that with you this summer. Other than that, you know, go to the orientation, have fun, enjoy the rest of your summer. If you have any questions at all, please contact us in advising. It's advising at nichols.edu. And we'll be happy to help you with any questions that you have regarding your schedule uh, and anything academic. Thanks so much.